In this problem, we're looking for the current I. We're supposed to use superposition method. And the hints were offered that it might be easier to find I1 and I2 first and then sum those together to form I. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Let me be begin by finding the current due to the 24 volt source. So we'll set that to zero, take that out altogether. And I'll also put the 24 subscript on those two quantities of interest. So I want 24. Well, I see that we have 24 volts impressed across the series combination of those two resistors. So we have 24 volts divided by 48 plus 24 yields a third of an amp, or 333 milliamps. Similar kind of thing happens here where we've got 24 volts appearing across 12 and 24. And that leads to two-thirds of an amp. So I24 is basically just the sum of those two numbers. That's one amp. Let me recall the previous circuit. And we'll try it with the other source. Now we're looking for the current due to I or the six amp source acting alone. Let's set that to zero. And I'll also use a six subscript on those. Now this works out pretty well, but you have to be careful how you do it. Um, just to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm going to straighten out these devices and then redraw this area where uh, essentially I'll ignore I6 for a little bit and we'll just focus on redrawing the circuit to make it easy to find those two currents. So why don't you take a look at this result. Now hopefully it's clear that we have our six amps flowing this way. Six amps comes in and splits between those two paths. So the path of interest I1 sub 6. We can find using current divider. That's 4 amps. So the current comes through, rejoins, so now we have 6 amps again which splits amongst those two paths. So our I2 sub 6 looks like that. Now I have to notice that the signs are opposites. We need to toss in a negative sign and that gives minus 2 amps. So the sum Excuse me, this is I6 all together. Two amps. I think I'll just jump to the solution then. So the current of interest was the current due to the 24 volt source plus the current due to the 6 amp source and we add the one amp we found earlier with two amps leading to the final 